Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Bad Peace Podcast. I am your host, Tati. I'm your co-host, Armani. And we are back. We been gone because it's been our birthdays mm-hmm. and I think we deserve, you know, a little time, time to ourselves. Yes. So we just been, uh, I guess. Partying. Not partying, but yeah, I I've t- been partying. Yeah, you've been partying. I took some time i had to get stuff together you know with myself so um that's what i've been doing but how was your birthday my birthday the day of my birthday was really really fun Uh uh-huh it went into shambles after that but what did you do the day of the day of i had um a nice little airbnb Mm -hmm. let my friends come over it was a little taco night we got drunk drunk as the fuck yeah for sure oh my it god it was actually one of my friends was actually more drunk than me so she <laughs> stole the show or what no nah, she didn't steal the show it was just like dear girl how you get past me <laughs> <laughs> that's how it be sometimes though niggas be like especially during these times like niggas just need to let their hair down mm-hmm. let loose sometimes so i get it it's yours um my birthday it was nice um what did I do? Oh, I went to breakfast that morning, and then me and Bay went out, went out to dinner and stuff. It was really nice, really chill. You're so old. I mean, that's the like, I I'm, I'm chill. You know, that's the best thing for me. I I wanted to have a a birthday party. Well, sort of like a birthday party. You know, rent out the theater and stuff. Oh yeah, but that's all right. Yeah, I mean, it probably would have got shut down because right when, like a week before my birthday came, LA shut the city down Mm -hmm. so we couldn't go to restaurants or whatever. So me and my boyfriend, we went to Orange County in order for us to have Yeah, that was like right before your birthday. Yeah, I was like, oh my God. He texted me like, "Change, we got to change the plans. And I mean, I didn't know what his plans were, but you know what I'm saying? He was like this ain't gonna work it ain't gonna be in this county for yeah so i'm like well (laughs) you better figure it the fuck out orange county is still open (laughs) lord so yeah that's where we went so that means you got birthday sex absolutely (sighs) absolutely i had had to get it in the ghetto like i was like okay round two let's go the ghetto how's that ghetto you didn't have some birthday sex no how you didn't have birthday sex i wasn't in a good place with people on your birthday (laughs) you know and then it then just got worse because people started like doing the most like what do you mean everything that happened on my birthday like from who walked in the door from who i was talking to was getting reported back to the next person it was just It it was a lot yeah oh my god so did that ruin your birthday or you were just oh, like, no, 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 no. Oh, my birthday good. was lit. Okay, good. Because ain't nobody got time for that on their birthday. Birthday was lit. I was, I think I was in a place where I was like, it's my birthday. I just want to have fun. So it was just like, I wasn't even really on my phone like that. That's good. So. I think sometimes you do have to just enjoy the moment, enjoy mm-hmm. the time and turn up, have fun. So what did you get for your birthday? Did you get any gifts? Mm -mm. well you know what i did what happened though what my old cash app was overdrawn like a lot of money and (laughs) it's like i guess it's people that already knew my cash app Uh uh-huh they were sending they were sending me money so they put me back at a zero balance oh that's good (laughs) i started to i started to be like look this is my cash app for my birthday like i mean even though i ain't broke but you know it's always nice to have i didn't even have to put it yeah so i was like it's always nice to have a little something something and extra in your wallet you know um but i i got a couple you know you got a couple gifts yeah i got a couple good gifts but the one that was like wait a minute hold on so i had a cake delivered to my house which Mm -hmm. was nice um and then didn't you get the strawberries what like chocolate covered strawberries or or what was it the cake oh that that was the cake the cake got delivered and then the next day oh i got a nordstrom gift card um and then the next day i got 
roses and chocolate covered okay, strawberries delivered. And I talked, if y'all don't follow me on Instagram, I talked about it in my close friend story. I've had it on silent. So oh. I don't know what you said in it. Okay, so, <laughs> so I'm just like totally, you know, I think that day we was having a little get together at the house or whatever. So I'm upstairs like getting myself together and they call me downstairs like, you got mail. And I'm like, I got mail. Like, what do y'all mean? Like, why is y'all telling me I got fucking mail? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I'm not thinking it's a package. Right. So I go downstairs and it's two packages and I'm like, oh, okay. It's two packages. So... I swung from Pro Flowers, and I don't know what the other box was, but it was, you know. So I come upstairs and I open the box, and it's flowers, of course. Mm-hmm. And the other box was chocolate covered strawberries. So there's a card in there. Mm-hmm. And let me see. Hold on. This is what it says. I'm nervous because who's this from? <laughs> Listen, so it says it's 365 days, 365 days in a year, but this special day belongs to you. I hope today is as special as you've been special to me. Happy birthday. I love you. And I'm like, okay. So I opened the bitch. There's nothing it's in empty. here. There's, there's no name. There's nothing on here. So I'm like. So do you still not know? I'm not going to reveal who it is. Who the hell knows the address? Listen, so I'm uh <laughs> I'm like, "Okay, who the fuck sent?" Because one of my one of my ex-boyfriends, he asked me for my address. So I'm like, oh, "Okay, it could be him. It could be my other ex-boyfriend because, you know, like I always say in the podcast, I'm good with all my ex-boyfriends." Mm-hmm. So you know, and the other one, he can get the address from a friend. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, and then, of course, my boyfriend. He knows where I live, and I've sent him the address before. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, okay, who could it be? Let me ask my ex-boyfriends first before I hit Bay and, and be like, like ooh, Bay, thank you for the flowers, and, yeah. and that bitch be dumped. Yeah. <laughs> no. So, no. Yeah, so... um i text one of my ex-boyfriends and i'm gonna insert the text right here and i asked him did you send me uh chocolate covered strawberries and flowers and he said no i would have looked like a fool <laughs> and i'm like oh my god and i was trying to call my other ex-boyfriend but he wasn't answering the phone so and i really wanted to ask him first before I asked that one. So was that one the one that randomly asked you for your address? Yes, that's the one that asked me for my address. The one that said no. So it wasn't him. Okay, so you know who it is, though. I know who it is now. But, I I mean, I'm not... I'm scared. I'm not saying. So, uh... (laughs) So, yeah, that was really crazy to me. And it's just like... Uh, and i told him i'm like why would you ask for my fucking address if you, you wasn't, wasn't gonna say shit right and so he talked to my homegirl later and he was like yeah i thought about sending it to sending something to her but i would have felt crazy because i know she got a nigga but well, nigga see, bitch, why you not minding your business but see, yeah you gotta mind your business number one number two is like you still you know what i'm saying be saying little shit here and there so if that's how you feel then stop saying Same. little shit yeah like you know what i'm saying like don't ask me to go out to eat don't ask me to if that's how you feel because you should feel crazy with all that yeah you should be feeling crazy asking me to go out to eat and all that shit so i mean and then you ask can you take me to dinner for my birthday so it's like you're still gonna feel like a fool right yeah this is a lot this is a lot <laughs> <laughs> so yeah back. so yeah it was nice and you know today my um cousin together she sent me 60 dollars seen that that was nice and um then my friend Brittany, um you have friends yeah they bought me gifts so it was nice my friends my friends y'all need to learn how to do something because all <laughs> you bitches know how to do is get drunk <laughs> and twerk yeah god damn how about that I don't want that. <laughs> you know, at least y'all, did they take you out to lunch or anything? 
Um, two days before, yeah, they took me out to eat. Oh, okay, see, it was like on my birthday was on Wednesday. They took me out to eat on Monday. Oh, cause I had yeah. And that I kind of got too drunk. Your ass has just been drunk since November, huh? November first. It's been my birthday. Bitch, now it's December. You need to comment. It's the still fuck my now. birthday. No, it's not your fucking birthday. My brother in jail. I'm gonna celebrate it for him. His birthday? Mm hmm. Bitch, you don't want you celebrating. And his now birthday. that I think about it, I should do the Airbnb thing again on his birthday. No, you should not because this is a good idea. No, this is you know because we was thinking about having you wasn't, but we were thinking about having a um cr- ugly Christmas sweater party, and I'm kind of like second guessing it because bitch, you just told me a story about COVID, and I don't want no parts. Everybody gotta wear a mask. I just don't want no parts. That's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna go to Miami. I hope I don't come back with COVID. And then yeah, I'm thinking I'm supposed to go to Dallas um, this month too, and I'm just like, Ooh. yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Cause they talking about they don't even want us in our cars. Yeah, they don't want us. <laughs> they don't want us fucking driving in LA. They don't want us fucking walking on, on the streets except for homeless people. They don't people. want you on the bikes. Yeah, they don't want you to do shit. That was and that thing was rude. What? They gonna say the homeless people are exempt. exempt. Yeah. Where the hell are they supposed to go? <laughs> <laughs> like, they what supposed do you mean they're exempt? We know they're exempt. Yeah, they ain't got nothing else to do. Because if you ticket them, you're out of goddamn line. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. <sighs> so now that you know your birthday is over, did you have you thought about like? My New Year's resolution. Not New Year's resolutions, but as far as... What I want to do. As far as your birthday, you know, how, did you reflect on your past year and what's going to happen next With, year for you? For my birthday or just the year? Period? Just the year. Um, I mean, you, because... You know what's you know, so crazy is that you're asking this. And last night, I literally um, was just in my bed. And I was just like something's gotta change like something i think it's my mindset for one that needs to change because mm-hmm. i'm saying what i want instead of saying what i will ha- like you know like what i would have like so last night i just declared to myself like i started writing in my journal and instead of usually i say my goal is this or i want this i want that so i like change your mindset change and say, i will have i or- will have this by this time i will mm-hmm. have m hopefully everything will manifest mm-hmm. are you gonna but, do a vision board for the new yes year? and that's what i was really um just about to hit people and say because i want to do another airbnb but for kind girls. of girls mm-hmm. and we do like a vision, vision board, board party because mm-hmm. i think like okay it's cool to have friends that you can have fun with and stuff like that but how many of your friends are really like Let's figure out what we're going to do to grow next year. Yeah. And that's the thing. It's always, you know, especially being young in your 20s, it's like, okay, at what point do partying kind of take a back seat mm-hmm. to my goals or take a back seat to what I want to accomplish and even grow within myself? Right. So do I, you think your friends are on that level? I don't know. But if they're not, they're going to either get on it or get it out of my way. You think so? Yeah. Because I think, I think 2020, maybe that's been, it's been boring to a lot of people, but me and my friends, we've been having the times of our lives for 2020. Mm-hmm. So I think we did it up this year. In 2021, it's time. It's time. Focus. Okay. Let's draw down because now we're getting, like I like me, I'm not old, but you I'm 26. 26. Yeah. So it's just like, how much am I going to do? Yeah. I think for me, I... Uh, this year i kind of you know was at a steady pace but um i think i've accomplished a lot as far as my vision board went you know and i guess we can talk about this come new year's but you know i feel like i accomplished a lot that i wanted to accomplish and i think for me um with my birthday like coming around again like it's just I want to be more settled. Yeah. And um and that's in my relationship and um myself like having everything for myself. And a lot of people don't get that, you know what I'm saying? Me saying, "Yes, I'm in a relationship. Yes, he has his own house, right?" Mhm. 
but people don't get that i still want to buy my own house and it's just like well why don't you move in with him and that's fine i could move in with him but at the same time i I still want my own Mm -hmm. because nothing is promised as far as our relationship i mean you can't you know you're not supposed to think like this is going to end but what if and this is his house so i don't have nothing to fall back on when it's baby to i gotta go. take care of me i gotta mm-hmm. take care of me so that's number one like you know what i'm saying is saving to get my own mm-hmm. period that's where i'm at with it and, you know of course there's gonna be a lot of stuff that i'm gonna put on my vision board that i don't want to speak about but you know I think next year is going to be good for me. And I feel like God is going to work for me. And as he's been doing, you know what I'm saying? But I just feel it coming. I feel a change. Yeah, me too. And I want to, you know, I I definitely want to grow spiritually and, you know what I'm saying, mentally. And even with my stocks and stuff, like I want to learn more about that. It's a lot that I want to do. So, yeah. No, after these, um... These past, I say like two months, I know I was like, you know how you come to a realize, realization like, okay, this is what I'm dealing with. Yeah. And so I try, I've been trying to face little problems that I'm dealing with head on and like work on things. So now I'm in a space right now where I'm like, okay, now it's time for the growth. Yeah. I've, I've dealt with it. Now it's time to, okay. Is grow. it easy? Is it easy though? Like, is is it is that a, like a battle within yourself? to go one way when you know like this thing is calling you if that makes sense and i don't think it's easy at all because it's pretty much temptation That's yeah what it is. It's, no it's not easy but it's like um in my i feel like in my case i gotta think about my kids so it's like it's these things that you you have to like back away from mm-hmm. because she's the bigger picture right so I think I'm starting to like pay outgrow, attention to that. Yeah, more. and outgrow certain things. Not that I, I like. I wouldn't say I'm outgrowing. Like just like I said, this year I've been like doing a lot of partying. Mm-hmm. But I feel like this has been a traumatic year, so I owe myself that. So now I'm on to like okay. So next time. year you can try to mellow out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well. That sounds like a plan. I think we are, especially 2021. Baby, we're going to talk about New Year's when New Year's is Hopefully coming around. This COVID shit is over. But I think it's going to, I mean, you know, they they um about to be passing out the vaccine. I mean, I'm not getting a no vaccine. But I feel like if everybody, a majority of America, if they do get vaccinated, mm-hmm. you know, it's going to reduce the spread, of course, because okay. people are vaccinated. Yeah. But I'm not getting it. Obama said he's getting it on camera. You don't care? Well, I don't give a damn what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> he better have the, he's gonna have that COVID on camera too. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> did, I ask, did I ask you if yet? I, yes, we did. I did. Where's your glasses at? Gone. Broken. So you driving and you can't fucking see, bitch? By the grace of God, he will. What happened to your there. glasses? I sat on them. I'm too thick. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't knock it the fuck off, <laughs> nah, but I did sit on them. I got a question broke. though, because I, I just noticed that you didn't have your glasses on. Do you suck dick with your glasses on? Oh, this is people's. I swear to God, <laughs> this is people's <laughs> favorite question. <laughs> no, I do not. People, have, I've I've dealt with two boys that wore glasses, and everyone asks like they've asked them or they ask me like do you guys have sex with your glasses on no we do not i think i've had sex with my <laughs> you're a loser who's <laughs> <laughs> doing that <laughs> that ain't even attractive if he's attracted to that, he's attracted to teachers and he's in a role play or something. Because, no, take them the fuck off. <laughs> and then you have to think about, it, like, I be thinking like this. Say if I'm um, giving head while I have my glasses on. Well, it's going to be so embarrassing. If they slide off, <laughs> drop into his lap. <laughs> like, no, <laughs> I'd rather not. Because that's, then I look dumb. <laughs> 
<laughs> Can you imagine your dick eating your vagina and he look up <laughs> your glasses? <laughs> Imagine your glasses is crooked because you feel it in too much. Like, oh no, my no. God, I would be so embarrassed. But I think I have had sex with my glasses. You're a loser. <laughs> <laughs> you need to do better with yourself. <laughs> Lord. Lord. Okay. Get it together. Okay, let's let's get back. Let's on topic. Let's get back on topic. Okay, so in the hot topic section of this podcast. Mm-hmm what's been going on lately i don't know the full story so you gonna have to like break it down to me with this ari and her friend um makeup situation okay so pretty much i don't know if you um i've always like yeah looked i know you, both of them i know so, you like ari so yeah this might have changed my mind on her okay so pretty much what happened was they've been um kind of like helping each other like she's been doing Ari's makeup okay it's been building her clientele so then they started doing like um virtual classes and the girl the makeup artist yeah but she's doing it on Ari so they're probably Mm -hmm. at this point they're probably making the money together okay so she's got a whole YouTube like but you have to pay for the you know it's just um she making money yeah making money they making money together Mm -hmm. so just recently she publicized like oh i just got my covid test done i'm officially a part of the glam squad for ti and tiny um the hustle oh the the, show the show Uh uh-huh so um ari goes and tweets like that's dope though i'm with yeah yeah, because now you're getting you know i'm saying to another level Mm -hmm. you're being seen by other people but the thing is is she was already there yeah, because she, she was starting to get like bigger clientele already off of what she was doing. Mm-hmm. Now she's got something that's steady, stable. Like it's not on like, oh, I called you and I want you to do my makeup. It's yeah. like every day I'm going to be here. Now I'm contracted yeah. to do makeup work. for all mm-hmm. these people, you know? Yeah. So, um, yeah, she posted that. Ari went and tweeted like, I want my own pers- personal makeup artist. Like I don't want my, I don't want to share. Like pretty much she don't want to share being selfish yeah so then um she said something i can't remember but boom it just turned into her like at a point why would you even post that like you know like yeah. like now you sound, like, you sound a hater. like you sound like a hater like when you should be congratulating yeah, me because i just landed a job bitch i'm gonna still do your makeup like, yeah still we still do you yeah, like yeah. you know yeah we still you, gonna work you yeah. we already we gathered this together we and she we, already we, gave this like this is months months ago she already gave her the like her credit like she didn't put me on this like so at the, the end makeup of the, artist is saying yeah. like already put me on like i been i didn't like did start doing her makeup she didn't brought me into this like situation and i've been getting all this clientele and i will always thank her for that she like literally wrote a whole paragraph appreciating her yes like so if y'all don't understand why i fit her in my schedule on my off days then that's on you like just like you know giving her her credit and that's good as a friend should yeah. so then um ari posted what she posted and i think the girl felt offended as she should have yeah yeah so she like you know like i didn't broke bread with this person and you know like i just feel like i made made a name for myself like i've been working hard like i've came from city after city trying to figure it out and now i'm doing good you know so ari came back in like a hater way like when she was just like don't you start with me don't start feeling yourself and i brought you the table the forks the knives uh-uh. like don't do that uh-uh. and it was just like and then she had posted like this is not our first argument olivia posted like this is not our fir- first argument second or third and this won't be our last one um i just wish we didn't have to take it here like oh, okay I but i saying, think like, once the situation digested to her she probably got over it because she was like i'm just done like, yeah I'm i mean at it. that point you know first of all as my friend why can't you be happy for me Number I know one. what you did for me. You don't yeah, have to. Yeah, and, and, and like you said, she, if she already put it out there that she's, you know, she's grateful to what you guys mm-hmm. have done together, then what the fuck is the problem? Why is you doing all this and don't? What she say? Don't be. Don't go there. Yeah, don't go there. Don't start feeling yourself. You haven't broke bread. Like you talking about breaking bread, but she may have not have meant like, oh, I paid you. But it's like we both 
been at these places Mm -hmm. like just for instance you come into my class i'm sure you got paid for that yeah yeah even whether it was for me or somebody else yeah i'm pretty sure she was getting that money yeah so yeah in a way i did break bread because i could have did it by myself or i could have chose somebody else so how do you feel about ari now or ari i don't know how to pronounce her name now that she's done this like you feel like she a fake like she a hater or yeah like, like i feel like you she's don't want to see like a bird you don't want to see nobody grow yeah yeah and then that's she and um posted something the other day like how she bought her best friend range over or whatever and oh, it was I just did like, see you don't that. have to always do like you don't have to post that like you don't have to yeah because you know what god says he doesn't want you he doesn't give you things so you can boast mm-hmm. and brag about what you do for other people you know what i'm saying you don't have to post every time mm-hmm. you do something that's just like what people you know what i'm saying record themselves giving to the homeless you don't always have to do it yeah you don't do it have out to the do that you gotta do that at kind of heart like don't because it's like are you, you doing it for us to feel yeah. that you're you're such a good person and you're giving back or are you doing this because that's what your heart is and telling you to do it's like what do you what do you what do you gain like besides recognition or praise from other people mm-hmm. And even with the praise from other people, you're still going to get hate. So it's yeah. like, it, it really what's doesn't di- matter. Yeah, what's the difference? So you might as well do that shit in private and mm-hmm. keep it pushing. And for you to be telling somebody that, you know, I gave my friend this Range Rover. Like, it, let her, if she wants to tell people that, you know what I'm saying? Then let her be the one exactly. to tell, tell people that. Like, I, like it, I'd be looking at, like, um, Rihanna. Mm-hmm. like she's one of those silent types yeah like she's silent but she's doing a lot, lot. of things yeah, that you would never even think she's I doing rihanna yeah so mm, I, I don't know if i'm like an ari right now have you ever had a friend that was like that like would do stuff for you and would always have to tell you know or even a friend that was like kind of like in secret competition with you do you I know i don't think so i had i had a friend like that um where i feel like you know it was always like well don't forget that i did this and you know what i'm saying it's like well bitch what the fuck did you do it for yeah or did don't, you don't did you do, do it, it to have like some type of upper hand so when you need something you'll be like well, but i, I did, did this, this for you and, and yeah and you can't that's not you a could brand. Have kept it. Or yeah, and that's not something that you're doing from the kindness of your heart. You could have kept it, like you said. And then number two, secret competition is like Bitch, I'm your friend. We yeah, should why be, why we, we should be, be in a, You should help me grow and I should help you grow or whatever the situation is, we should both be growing. Right. Because that's what we that's what friends and friendships are about. And then you have to and then as it'd be like those people that don't understand that we're not always gonna be on the same pace. And that's okay. Yeah, and that's fine too. And that's another thing, too, when you grow apart because one person is stuck and and they don't want to see you elevate. Mm-hmm. So it's just like you either going to get on this train or mm-hmm. you, you're going to be left behind. It was like Mayweather. Mayweather had just um, it was like this little speech he gave where he was like, don't like say, OK, you can ride in this. Like I got a Rolls Royce. You can ride in this. No, show me how you got that. Yeah, yeah. I want it too. Like, I want us to like... But that's what... It's some people that's doing this to be like, oh, I got this and you don't. Yeah. No, show me how to get it. Cause right. You yeah. should want all your friends to have that. Yeah. I think but, that's what friendships should be about instead it's of... different nowadays. Yeah. Everybody want to be the man or the woman or mm-hmm. the... You know what I'm saying? The big shot. And everybody want the praise from social media. And it's just like... I don't know. It don't make no sense. It really don't make no sense. And then, even too, you got your friends that be like, they don't know that you talk that, that you know they talking behind your back. Mm-hmm. But now I know. So now when, I gotta handle you accordingly. Yeah, I gotta handle you accordingly because it's just like, and it, the sad part is, is that you know they talking about you behind your back, and you can't say nothing mm-hmm. because. Because either somebody else told you, yeah, and you don't want them in the middle of it, yeah, or the way it's somehow because of the way it was delivered, yeah. I just, you know, friends and you know, I got, I don't know, friendships are really. That's one thing about being friends with a lot of girls, is that 
it's always going to be something mm-hmm. unless everybody is on the same page, which is almost really rare. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's always, it's always going to be something, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Ari just needs to, you know, she needs to be a, some type yeah, of humbleness. She gotta, yeah. She got to be, get that worked out inside and yeah, become a better, for a sure. better person, a better friend, because that wasn't nice at, at all. all. But yeah, guys, let us know how y'all felt about that situation and, you know, uh, y'all technical difficulties. But yeah, let us know how y'all feel about the Ari situation. If you ever had a friend that um, was like in competition with you secretly or, you know what I'm saying, was never happy for you when things worked out for the better in your life. Um, and number two, um, we've been thinking about, uh, I haven't said anything about it, but we've been thinking about starting our own YouTube channels. Mm-hmm. Were you thinking about starting a YouTube channel or? Yeah. Um, so let us know if y'all want to see us. That one would be more of our like daily life, daily life. vlogs. Well, for me, probably some beauty stuff and my ghetto stories yeah her ghetto life <laughs> <laughs> but let us know if y'all want to see us individually as well as here on the podcast and we will see you guys that's ghetto see <laughs> we'll see you guys on the next episode 